Sinara, the Nayasa Sunny, Larahuna is Susan of the Rahuna Hagunara Haduna, Ladahuna, Aduna his Susanny, the Susana de Hanora in Sana Hugunananiana, Laina, Aduna has Susanny, Sisana Huda Hagunara Hotana, Larahuna is Susan of the Reharagna, Chulana, Aduna has Susanny, Lara Huna is Sukura Hunaguna. Kap kun makaro nara, so na hotel yung hotel ay ako dyan niya dito nara. Siha na ito na yung susani, lara ho na yung ako nara. Si na di hotel ay ako nara, susana di chano di niya ako nara, lara ho na yung susani di chano di niya ako nara, lara niya ako nara. Amen. Women, you know what I just spoke. I tell my angels first what I'm going to do. I ask them first what I am. I ask them what I am uh, saying. I uh, like uh, I'm going to talk. This is uh, I have many angels right now around. That is around. Not the uh, you think is around this because they cannot come near me as my light is very 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 bright so uh, when i speak my voice is it's a uh, aquarel if i speak that they are around and i speak it's it gets the light gets uh, bigger and bigger and bigger and we cannot uh, be around the when i speak they have to like a uh, little uh, farther from me as they get uh, the the it's like equa uh, quarreling our uh, our it's like our uh, energy are battling one another this is why we respect each other no matter how you know there is hierarchy in heaven i'm the son of man but i respect and love my beings humans that is what you cannot understand love is about giving so what i said i came back to bear witness meaning to tell you everything what i've been through throughout incarnation is the meaning of testification testifying the truth the truth of what you've been taught is totally wrong in the beginning i was like you as we are all are upon touchdown to the land we agreed to forget where we came from as it is unfair to the other beings who came first so we have to agree to one another when when i put you into your into that belly where uh, temp, your new temple will be in that uh, you call the a pregnant woman uh. i'm taking this bile You know that woman like a uh, um, belly gone big with a, with a new with a new uh, with a new temple in it. If I could just speak that in other lingo, I would, but you won't understand it because this Anglo you are talking this uh, this words I'm using right now is so blasphemous, and you think uh, just to. You must, the blasphemous name is words. We, when I put you into that uh, unborn baby, you were chose. It is your choice. You choose that because it's the lowest part. You are an angel. Don't call yourself C H O O S E N because it is sounds so cheap. It's like bargaining to the dams. You choose the lowest because that way you are not trampling anybody. That is a, uh, a pregnancy is a lowest. You know, it's a lowest humans because 
you are a woman and then you are carrying a baby which is unst still unborn it means lowest Angel, it's a uh, it's for angel to get in it for it to become their temple as those angels are your babies in the beginning in the beginning in the spirit realm humans this is why how can you kill your own babies and then call them bapume see stupidity of humanity right don't say anything because uh, that's what you are i accept that when anyone calls me even i calls myself that when i've done something because for me it's nothing but you get hurt because you think it's wrong no humans the wrongs is your minds that is what's wrong in you your brains is dead because you think everything is wrong you cannot accept because you are still sucking milks of your own brains you must i've been called so many names do i care no because i am not that but you get angry when you call because you are guilty that is why you get angry because you are guilty that is how what you call virtues as humans you say the truth not the stupidity truth you think is truth but it's not truth humans when i say i came back to bear witness is the meaning of coming back to the world and testifying the truth of personal experiences in life and jesus was just one of those this is what your tongues makes me as GXUS is not and can't be spoken as it is you called repentance angels that is the meaning of uh, I came back to the world to bear witness is to tell you the truth from the very beginning what is the world is and time to time i convey the words of my gods my father and to the true king you call me a king when i am not but i am a queen human jsus means angels angels us when we were crucified to that cross we were eight eight of us were there and those angels that are with me in those cross are still with me in this you called end they are my beloved sisters you called cousins like i said i know each and every one of you you may not know who you are but i do this is why i came back to testify and bear witness to tell you of who you are when you come and get to my gates I came to bear witness to tell you the truth of the world. I came back to, te to bear witness to tell you of who you are. I came back to bear witness of the story of the world. Testify. What I teach in this is not coming from any books because I don't. I don't read books, humans. I don't read books as I am already a world you understand when i see letters it makes me headache why because i am a word of throughout incarnations different lingos different writings that is why i don't say letters humans numbers even as we are angels are called by numbers just like my brother calls me eight eight i'm speaking to you you know because i am eight the first arca raka you call me rakil they call me raka raka means arca there's many in raka you can get and that is what we are humans even father you know i cannot tell it's forbidden about that this is the meaning of uh, i came back to bear witness to the world as 
to testify. To tell you the story of the worlds in the beginning to the very end and throughout my incarnations, you called personal experiences. Personal experiences doesn't mean just personal experiences of this world. No, not just in this incarnation, human. I meant throughout my incarnations. That I have every time I was born is to school and learn. As this temple you are is to school and learn of who you are. To learn more and through your own experiences, which is wisdom and knowledge. That is what it is. Truth and grace. And everything I say is not coming from your books. As it is for me, blasphemy to me. As I am a word, a book. And also it's blasphemy to all the books. Who is the books? The Eli Elis. The Eli Elis you called in my Lama Sabashani. The angels who was with me in the very beginning and been working with me. You know? The Eli Eli. Eli Eli means prince and princesses. Prince and princesses. In my Lama Sabashani. Lama Sabashani. Sabashani means crucifixions. Crucifixions as this is the month of my most crucifixions. Because this month is I've been slain throughout incarnations, usually every July, as I am seven new months. I am seven. Seven. I am seven, Arika, because I incarnate. This is the month of my crucifixions. Not just Mona Lisa and many more. This is why I said I came back to bear witness, to teach you. And so, to awaken you. Awaken doesn't mean just awaken you, mans. You have so wrong understanding in the word awaken. You know, you mans? Awaken doesn't mean just awaken. Awaken means to levitate you. To levitate you like a feather. To get rid of those stones that are within you. Throughout incarnation, you've been carrying until now the scars, harlots. That is what it is, humans. The harlots throughout incarnations is the meaning of the stones you've been carrying. The scars, the sorrows. That is what it means, humans. Sorrows, I'm getting reading of in you. As every time I spoke, it is to awaken your kundalini. This is what I say. My words do not, does not come out, does not go out to the world for it to come back to me empty. That is what my heavenly prayers is about, humans. Every start and finished is there's a prayer depending on what I am saying. As what I say is already a prayer, as I am a word of God. I am the curse you called a word, a holy. I am a holy you called spirit. And my word does not go out to the world with nothing. You understand? But those others you are listening to, they are stones you are receiving from them as this is their energy. There is something in my words that you cannot comprehend as I am forbidden to say that. I forbid to say what's in it, but I can tell you it's oration. You must. I am not a plain woman you are thinking of. I am not a plain like those false prophets you are thinking of. I am the GXSUS you've been expecting, but less than you have been expecting. I am He. I am them. When I say the Lahara, it means false prophets. When I say the Lahara, it means water. 
There's many, many in my lingo that you cannot understand and cannot comprehend humans. This is why I say I came back to bear witness and testify. I am G-S-U-S. I called myself G-A-X-U-S as it is now my brother Michael is the Lord. And anyway, my brother Michael, yes, there's a new appointee. He is more than just now. It's uh, still, uh, it's still being purified. It's still being uh, carried out. There is new, like I said, I came back to bear witness for new appointees, new names. This is what it's all about, humans. Preparing. This is what the world is preparing. Every those listeners. Nara aguna ya so na igora hune ha so na udai hala ya so aya hula ya adona Jesus ani la adona ya ko ta ya ola ya ko dar haro na amen